Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, picking out a beginning surfboard. Um, first thing, a misconception to a lot of people is uh, there's not really a true uh, beginner surfboard. Um, there's boards that we put beginners on because it's going to suit them better, but um, a lot of people think of a long board or say a fun board as a beginner sur surfboard. It's a good board to start out on, but um, don't think it's just a surfboard for a beginner. Many people who've surfed their whole lives still ride long boards and it's more of a style than a say beginner surfboard. Um, but because of the volume, the amount of foam in them, it's a very good board to begin on. Um, very, very sturdy. Most of them range from around 9 to 10 feet long. Um, very wide and very thick. Um, so you have a lot of foam, a lot of floatability. Gives you a lot of stability to jump up, stand on, very easy to paddle into a wave. Um, uh, fun board also is a good board we'll put people on. Um, a lot of people if they want to ride a short board eventually, the first thing we put them on is a fun board. It um, has the volume, the length, width, thickness of a, say, not quite a long board, but it's in between a long board and a short board, but it gives them that versatility. Um, it's easier to get around, um, maneuverability, things like that. So it's a good way to start. Um, they can learn their first steps, so to say, and then work their way, pr uh, progress towards a short board. Um, so those are good, good beginner's boards, but like I say, um, not necessarily a beginner's surfboard, more just one to start somebody on.